There was a guy named Kreskin, mm-hmm. still around. I know him, Canadian, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact. Yeah, mind reader, mm-hmm. uh, supposedly. And he came out with uh, a show uh-huh. that he would do. On, he didn't do it on Carson because yeah. Carson hated him. Uh-huh. But there was some show he did where he came out and demonstrated mm-hmm. uh, mind reading ability and uh-huh. talked about the science mm-hmm. of this. At that time, uh, the best I can figure from when the game was released and so on and going back and doing yeah. a little bit of forensics, I was probably 13. Okay. Um, he came out with that. I was very into science, uh-huh. crazy into science. I read science all the time. I love science, and that was going to be my life. And I watched him do this scientific experiment as he presented it. As he presented it. On TV. It. Mm-hmm. And he had this ESP kit that he sold. Yeah, which I was remember a, that. Which was a little uh, pendulum with a, the idiomatic movements and, yeah. the, uh, and, the, and the ESP cards. And my parents, uh, uh, my dad was a jail guard. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I have wonderful relationship with my parents. They were not wealthy. Sure. Um, but this was science. Mm-hmm. So I could buy this ESP kit. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I bought the ESP kit. And my sister, much older than me, she's, she was 23 when I was born. Wow. So I was raised essentially as an only child yeah. with my sister sure. living yeah. in town. Um, and uh, so my mom and dad, every night, would run through this stupid ESP kit with For me. You. Oh, and I, and nice. I kept all the records and kept everything carefully and did all the graphs and all the science. And then as luck would have it, I was very into juggling. Uh, the juggling section of the library, if you remember your Dewey Decimal System, okay. is... Oh, uh, yeah, it's ingrained. <laughs> very very close to religion, by the way. Yeah, me. yeah. Uh, all in the 900s, <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and juggling is near the magic, uh-huh. right? So I, I remember that. I saw a book uh, by Dunninger uh-huh. and just kind of thumbing through it, and the tricks started to look similar to what Kreskin, Kreskin had done oh, I see. as ESP. Uh-huh. And I finally looked through and found the trick. Uh-huh. And my reaction was so inappropriate. You had an inappropriate uh, reaction? I can't believe it. I, I was heartbroken. I was destroyed. Yeah. The fact that a scientist, yeah. I'm putting this in my terms. Yeah, then, sure. Yeah. The fact that a scientist went on TV and lied to me, oh. uh, 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 inconsolable, and embarrassed in front of my parents, mom and huh. dad, I was making you do so this, and it was, it was all, all stupid, filthy. it was all jive. Uh. And I went from, and this is absolutely true, from straight A's in science to flunking. Wow. To being directly to my science teacher, I want nothing to do with you people. You lie to people. Wow. And my entire school career changed there. And I went from a straight-A student to flunking the rest. Of, rest. That was the that, demarcation. Wow. And my hatred for magicians and scientists, who to me were the same. So we're the now, same. I'm, I'm, you got to see this all as a twelve-year-old. Sure, absolutely. I mean, there's the, no background, no, you know, no, you know, yeah, no perspective of what what the difference. And then uh, through a kind of an interesting uh, series of events. I met Teller. Uh And Teller simply said to me, he said, uh, you can do magic without lying. 